going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me today. We're going to be talking about some recent news that was just released about our favorite piratey survival game, Atlas. Now, this news has to do specifically with raiding in Atlas and how difficult the, the devs want it and you're going to be able to do it. So without further ado, we're going to kick off some of our debate and talking about this new news release update and what it means for you when it comes to playing Atlas. I am Nick, guys. This is Nerd Parade. Welcome to the channel, and let's talk about some pirate crap. So this was just released. This is the post about the upcoming patch notes. And what we have here are a couple of things, but the very first ticket on our list here is this. Ex oh, not the whole thing, just this little bullet. Explosive barrels will be limited to one carryable stack per person. Their stack size will not be changing. Going forward, you will not be able to store them in creature inventories. However, legacy ones will remain there. That means that those that are there currently will still be able to stay. However, those going forward will not be able to be placed in there. You're limited to one stack per person. Now, what does this mean for Atlas? What does this mean for rating? Currently, at the stage of the game that we're in right now, explosive barrels are literally the best way to raid a base specifically bases that are not able to be attacked from cannon fire or your ship. Basically bases that are built close to the beach. Explosive barrels are the way to blow in. It's essentially Atlas's version of Ark's C4 if you played Ark Survival Evolved. Limiting the player to only being able to carry one stack means that raiding just got a whole hell of a lot more difficult for those of you pirates out there that wish to blow into bases. Now, before we talk about whether or not this is a good or bad thing, we're going to talk about the state of the game and what this kind of more or less means. Now, if you've been following the channel and you've seen some other Nerd Parade videos outside of this one along, uh, along the topic of Atlas, you'll have noticed that I've said numerous times that Atlas is a game where the devs, the game devs, do not want you to raid bases easily. In fact, raiding bases should really not be a focus at all because 90% of the time, resources expended to raid versus resources gained to raid are not going to be beneficial. They're trying to discourage as much base raiding as possible. And I've made this argument since the first day that we played Atlas, and this more or less confirms, this topic here more or less confirms, my suspicions and my theories that they do not want you to raid bases in Atlas. Raiding bases in Atlas from a dev standpoint is a very, very bad thing. And I'll tell you why. If you're a game developer and your player base is taking things away from other players, such as base raiding or full-on foundation wiping, that is going to encourage a player almost more than anything else to quit or stop playing your game. They don't want that. So what they have in store here is a game focused mostly around ship-to-ship -ship combat. It's very easily it's very easy to go out and sink ships. It's very easy to find docks on beaches and attack ships, and ship battles happen pretty frequently. That is what they want in their game, and I'm convinced. So most of your PvP and raiding situations are going to be happening ship to ship. It's a pirate game, it makes sense. They don't want People coming up to your base, blowing your structures into oblivion, forcing you to start over from more or less scratch, and then you inevitably keyboard flipping, dipping out, and saying, I've had enough of this shit, I'm moving on to something far less punishing to a, uh, maybe a solo player out there. Now here we are in front of the Nerd Pirate Gang's current pirate fortress of just absolute punishment and pain. The reason why I bring you guys here is because we're going to talk about how difficult this this place, this fortress, this compound, this base would be to get into with one stack of explosive barrels and anything less than a crew of like 20 people. First and foremost, we are built on a ridiculously fortified location, very, very high above sea level. This means that we are not going to get blasted by any type of cannon fire from any type of ship whatsoever. If anybody's going to come up here and really try to assault us at this base, they're going to have to compete with our claim flags and maybe build some kind of forward operating base or fob to mortar us and get in in that way. Otherwise, they're going to have to climbing pick or grapple hook their way all the way up to here. 
and try to drop explosive barrels to weaken our defenses enough for them to be able to raid us. So stacking in 10 now, the, ta the stack is 10. So you can carry 10 barrels at 600 pounds, which means that you're going to have to spec into some sort of weight if you're playing on an official server just to be able to move these suckers to an enemy base to place them down. You place it much like you would C4, an arc, or you drop it down, tick, 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 boom, things explode, bases get damaged, and the damage to stone structures, you're going to need a lot more than just 10 to blow past anything like this. This goes back to my original claims of, hey, they don't want you raiding bases in this game. For those of you guys that really like to watch the world burn and blow up bases and foundation white people, Atlas is doing everything that it can to make sure that that is not a thing. So at the time of the current state of game, what you're going to have to do is watch the world burn by sinking everybody's ships instead. It is still a PvP game, but they did give PvP a lot of thought to try to make it fun as well as not horribly, horribly punishing to those that might lose some ships, but they're not really going to lose their base at the current state, especially with this patch in play. What I want to know is what your guys' thoughts are and feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this new change and what it means for you in our favorite pirate survival game of Atlas. Will you continue to try to raid bases or are you going to stick to the seas and ship battle till your heart's giddy? That's right, we tried to rhyme it out, but it, they can't always be that great. For me, if you're curious of what my opinion is, I knew that Atlas was going to try to do this from the absolute get-go. A lot of people quit their sister game or predecessor, Ark Survival Evolved, because of base slash foundation wiping. You lose everything that you've worked so hard for, and almost, sometimes, in the blink of an eye or overnight, and Atlas is really trying to do everything that they can to prevent people from, A, not only leaving their game, because what game developer wants people to stop playing their game, but to make sure that they continue to come back and play and have fun. So I get it from a game developer's standpoint, but what if somebody comes up to you and steals something from you and you want your piratey revenge? Well, right now, that piratey revenge is going to have to be limited to sinking some of their ships and maybe getting what you can from the remains therein. You're not going to be doing too terribly much damage to a base, even a base such as this, without a massive, massive crew and assault to do so. Like I said earlier, Nerd Praetors, let me know what your thoughts are in this. Are you very upset with the change of explosive barrels making things much harder for raiding to occur in Atlas? Or are you pleased with this? Are you on the same page with the game developers and even Nerd Parade that, that raiding or wiping someone's base doesn't necessarily make the game more fun? Although, it could be satisfying to do that every now and again to somebody who's wronged you in the worst possible of ways. Let me know what you think. I'm excited to know. Hit me up in the comments below. If you haven't done so yet, drop a thumbs up on this video. Let me know that you like the news that Nerd Parade is bringing you here. Whether it be controversial or informative, I got you covered when it comes to Atlas. If you haven't done so yet, also drop a subscribe on the page for some more cool videos so you don't miss any of our Atlas playthrough series or just so you can see my beautiful face. Actually, you probably don't want to subscribe at this point. Oh well, who the fuck cares? Most importantly of all, guys, take care of yourselves out there, stay awesome, and we'll catch you on the high seas with our next piratey adventure. Later.